My name is Ricky, and I'm from Fungi University. Um, today I'm going to share a topic of GeoSync service as a resource. Um, GeoSync service, uh, GeoSync for short, is a direct standard of OGC. And we have the honor to join the OWSA, uh, OWSA uh, program, and we are going to implement this standard. Uh, the main idea of uh, GSS is, uh, is uh, how to uh, synchronize the features from client to WNST server and between servers. And the main purpose of this presentation is to uh, deliver a message uh, to everybody. Uh, we are going to implement this and uh, we are going to make it open source. And these are the agendas today. Uh, I'll do a quick review on GSS and explain what we are going to do and the future works. Uh, as you can see in the left, uh, uh, left top corner, uh, there's a GSS client and this row is a data collector. And the uh, client, the data collector, co collector uh, creates a proposed feature and the data collector uh, posts the proposed feature to the GSS service as a change fee and uh, uh, the change fee is a uh, item like uh, uh, like asset or data format and there is another client and its role is a reviewer and the reviewer and the reviewer can accept or reject the change fee. Uh, we assume we assume the reviewer accepts the change fee here. And after uh, the reviewer accepts the change fee, uh, the GSS uh, uh, updates the feature to the target WST. And at the meantime, the GSS adds an entry to the resolution fee. And the uh, resolution fee, uh, the main purpose of the resolution fee is to, uh, to notify the, the data collector whether the proposed feature were accepted or not. And finally, uh, the other WFT servers can subscribe the fee to synchronize the features as a local copy. And uh, the, that's basically, uh, this is basically how GSS work. And uh, this is a uh, OWSA uh, example. Uh, we assume there, uh, there is an earthquake happen, happened in the Monterey Bay uh, of California and it caused uh, uh, oil spill events. And there are various uh, responders, and, and there are uh, data collectors, and they collected all these features and insert insert these features to the Jesus uh, uh, service and uh, as a change feed. And we assume this GSS service was set up by a non-governmental organization. And uh, the NGO staff uh, may review the uh, proposed features and uh, accept, accept those qualified. Um, uh, there, uh, maybe there are uh, third parties of uh, organization uh, interested in uh, the oil spill uh, extends events, and they can subscribe the oil spill topic. And the, uh, this GSS, uh, uh, in, in our OWSA scenario, uh, we focus on the temporal query to assist the, the, the third parties to analyze the, the events, the, the features uh, based on the time, uh, time slice or time stamp and location. And uh, we are going to implement this uh, standard, so uh, we are uh, we found a great open source project, and this project uh, is 
OG Silver Service domain. Uh, it's uh, it's from the uh, open source community from uh, uh, Compass, and the main reason we use this uh, open source project is it was is easy to configure the service interface, uh, which means uh, we can implement uh, different services based on the, uh, its uh, structure. And uh, we also <coughs> implement some OGC business objects, which means we can reduce our information time. And what we are going to do, and this is the structure of the uh, open source project. And uh, uh, we can see from the bottom to the top, uh, there is a data storage, and this storage uh, stores uh, GSS fees and entries. And also there uh, is uh, entity data models, and uh, these models uh, are the objects of data represents the fees and uh, entries in the storage. And we, we are going to implement some uh, OGC GSS models. Uh, these models, uh, these objects of SML, uh, represent the OGC uh, standards via SML deserialization mechanism. And uh, most important, we are going to implement uh, service interfaces. And, and uh, we are going to configure the service and post the service to the uh, web application. Okay, um, these are uh, the JSON uh, interface we are going to implement. There are eight categories of interfaces. And so far, we have implemented these two interfaces. And we hope we are going to the following interfaces. And now, uh, we are here, and uh, uh, the next step we are going to implement the transaction and change management and topic management and add notification and synchronization mechanism. And we hope we can uh, finish uh, these jobs uh, in the end of this year and publish to an open source project. And these are my presen presentation today. I'm uh, we hope you can download this open source uh, solution from this one uh, Thanks for your attention. Anybody have any questions? What kind of services are you going to implement? What kind of service? Yes, in which interfaces, which OGC specifications? Uh, uh, GSS, your JSON service. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it the only one, or because you, you had in one of the diagrams, uh, I think one or two uh, service implementations in there? Uh, I'm not going to combine the boxes. Yeah. Oh, the other other the related uh, uh, services and uh, WSD and uh, uh, general.